All right, well, everybody, hey, you're all looking great today, and I'm we're just very thankful for everyone on the call. We want to welcome you. This is the Global Watch International Call. It's Friday, April 16th, 6 a.m. Jerusalem time. This is the break of dawn prayer. And today's meeting is a follow-up to the boot camp and trying to answer or address the question, where do we go from here? And uh, so, Susan, do you want to have some introductory comments before we get into worship? Now, let's just open up in prayer and, and jump right into worship, and then we can go from there. Okay, let's start with the world-renowned Roberta. Roberta, if you want to just open us up in prayer, we'll have a couple of minutes of prayer. Yes, Father, we commit this time before you, Father, and we pray that uh, you continue to, to, to download the things that you have in your heart to us, Father, in the name of Yeshua, Father, I pray that uh, each one of us will be in tune with your heart in that season, Father, in the name of Yeshua, we pray and we thank you, Father, for the opportunity to, to come together, Father, to worship you, Father, and, and to seek your way together, Father, in the name of Yeshua, I pray, amen. 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 Let's have a let's have a couple other people pray. Uh, you can just I'm not going to call on you. Just um, open up your open up your mic. Thank you, Lord, for being together. Thank you for the fellowship we have together, and that you bind us together. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord, that you are really uh, our Father, and for this time now leading us. And thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are going to talk with to us today. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Father, we just ask that this be an anointed time with your presence, Lord, that um, we could just bathe in your richness, Father, and your glory. And we just thank you for the gathering and the love that we have for one another. Amen. It's good. Let's have one more person. Thank you, Lord, that this is, is like being in heaven, Lord, that every tongue and every tribe and every nation and the color and Lord, thank you for the laughter too. Lord, we just thank you for each other. We thank you for family, but thank you, Lord, most of all for your death on the cross that made this possible. And Lord, we don't ever, ever want to forget that. So Lord, we pray that our ears will be open, our hearts will be open to what Fred and Sue have to say to us today. And Lord, we just thank you for your death and thank you for one another. Amen. Yes, the joy of the Lord is our strength. If you oh, think about it, God, God created us to be joyful. He created us in his image. He is right. a joyful God. And uh, Amen. it's really, Amen. really amazing, really wonderful. Um, all right, Sue. The worship song. Okay, <clears throat> I can do this. Let's see. So tonight, we're going to delve into the promises of God a little bit, and um, be prepared to contribute and to share. No holding back tonight.
we just thank you, Lord, that all your promises are yes and amen. And uh, that you are faithful. You're the original promise keeper. So we just say thank you, Lord. We just thank you for who you are. We can't stop praising your name. And uh, you are totally amazing. So <clears throat> during this hour, we want to just talk a little bit. We didn't get the chance so much on the last session of the boot camp to talk about where we're going and uh, in the watch. And so we want to just uh, talk about that for a little bit, just share our hearts and maybe get some, get a few comments from you. This isn't a, this is um, something that is developing as we speak. And uh, you were, we'll turn it over to you, Sue, to kind of give us a, an overview and, and an intro. And then I have something that I want to share concerning a kind of a vision that I had just uh, on the last uh, segment that we did with the European Watch. And then you can come in, in and then we can have some uh, comments from people and just have this be sort of a family discussion night. Go ahead, Sue. Oh, amen. Well, morning. morning for many. It's night for us. Yeah. It's so good to see all of you. And I just wanted to give kind of a brief overview of where we've been and why we're here landing here tonight and having this discussion. Because I think uh, what's happening is we are experiencing a work in progress. <laughs> and that's the way we want it to be. We don't want to know, you know, in a month a, a, ahead that this is where we're, you know, we're, this is where we're going to head without seeking the Lord first day by day and going forward. Yes, we, we're going to have an overall vision going forward, but we know that God has plans that will prosper us and not harm us and give us a hope and a future. And I don't want to take anything for granted these days as uh, we go forward. So we wanted to take this deep breath tonight and just hear from each other and share a little bit from our hearts and perspective what we have seen happen. Um, many of you know that uh, last, the, the journey has been, you know, a long time and I, we're not going to go into that tonight, but in the most recent history, in September, Daniel Lim called us from IHOP and we had a discussion about doing something for New Year's with uh, IHOP. And we were, that was a, a an act of God's grace to open that door. We held the New Year's event with uh, many different houses of prayer across the nations. And it was just a huge blessing to be a part of that. But in the discussions going into it, I, I had written Daniel and th that the Lord wanted to move us beyond just an event, a New Year's event. We're entering into a, a, a season of the Lord. And so we chose to do 21 days during that process, um, we also did a, a, sent you guys an evaluation to see, hear what you guys were hearing. And the, the evaluation came back. And uh, I have to tell you that 100% of you did not want to quit. <laughs> and that there a, was a perseverance that certainly came through that um, questionnaire and for those who, respond, who responded. But, and, and there was a grace to continue moving this forward. There, it felt like at the end of the 21 days that we were just at the beginning and we chose to do another 100 days, which we're coming to the end of this week. And um, it still feels like we're at the beginning and it's not ending, there's a, there's a momentum building. So um, we are here uh, until. <laughs> I think that until word is becoming uh, meaningful to me uh, that he's God's raising up a relentless group of watchmen who will not give up day or night. They will sing his praises and give God's thanks until he makes Jerusalem a praise in the earth. And why? What's happening with this until thing, this watchmen that are relentless? They are building up community in prayer. Um, they're bringing forth an Isaiah 52, 8 reality where your watchmen shall raise up their voices. That's what we're doing tonight. They shall sing your praises and they shall see eye to eye. When? When the Lord brings back Zion. This is an assignment, I believe, until, <laughs> until, <laughs> until. And by God's grace, uh, maybe we will be part of the company that... Uh, 
welcomes, uh, are, are here on earth as when Jesus takes that step forward and we go to join to meet him. Um, and some of that um, mystery we're trying to uncover now with the, uh, with the journey group. Uh, I would encourage all who are on this line that aren't part of that to con consider being part of the uh, book and Bible study that we just started last week um, using the Mid Mideast beast sort of as a guide, the Bible as the backbone, obviously. But I think by the time we get through this book, we're gonna have much more solid foundations on how to view the world and what's happening and um, be the people of peace that will set us apart from an increasingly uh, chaotic world. And even tonight, um, as we speak, uh, or today news has come, you know, of uh, powers rising in the nations. I, I wasn't gonna say this, but I, I think I will because it'll help point, point us in the discussion tonight. But uh, yesterday, um, uh, I actually for the last two days, I've had a, a strong recurring word that <clears throat> a war is rising. And today uh, our president um, announced sanctions against Russia and uh, evicted 10 of their um, patriots here in uh, America. So uh, where, are this, where is this all heading? I'm going to tell you right now, it's all heading into Jesus' lap. And in that, we can have confidence that all things are being put into order under his feet. Will there be turmoil? Yes, but there will also be great, um, great affirmations of the Holy Spirit. And I believe we're in a company of people and we're beginning to experience some of this. And what, did, what, uh, what are, I just want to summarize very quickly what I've seen and Fred and I have discussed uh, over, the, over since January in this morning and evening expression of uh, the global watchman. And um, I think it's really encouraging. And one of the things which is our main thrust is to build community in prayer, to empower the church. And I am seeing community build in this group of people. I look forward, every time I get on this line, I look forward to seeing you guys and to hearing what's new and you know some of us get on a little bit early because i try to get the mechanics out of the way but <laughs> we're having quite a jab fest <laughs> and it's getting to be fun uh, especially with shireen around but anyway um there is a sense of growing community and uh, a building of trust and it's going across every tribe and tongue and i that is uh, the beauty of the bride arising and the Lord is speaking to me this last week that, you know, you're watchmen, you're concerned about covenant issues, you're con concerned about God's promises and the, what the Bible says, but it has to also be balanced with the bridal position of being worshipers and lovers of Jesus. Um, if that gets out of balance, then we're, we're, out, uh, we're out of balance. <laughs> and I'm, it, we're excited to announce tonight that there is a new watch starting that's going to be purely a worship watch. It's tomorrow or, or today, depending on where you are in the world, uh, an hour before the Shabbat, uh, International Shabbat. It's going to be purely worship. Margot's on the line, I think. Um, and we'll have you speak in just a minute, Margot, about this. But I'm really encouraged to see this level of community and uh, um, develop. Um, I also see the visionary foundations that were laid during the boot camp. People are picking it up. Margo, you picked up the, the watch to start this for Zion's sake watch. There's other watches that are starting to develop that are leaning into what the scriptures say about these times and how key it is for us to pick up the mantle of what the watchman is all about. And in that process, that relentless nature is showing up. It's not just a prayer meeting. It's not just a prayer movement. There is a relentless nature in this that I'm very encouraged to see that people aren't falling off the block at the first minute uh, of things. And um, they are, um, they're, they're persevering through you know, the tests. 
which is, uh, I think, a really big encouraging sign. And finally, there is a morning and evening rhythm that I think is worthwhile for all of us to take home and pray about. Uh, I was just looking, you know, the Bible opens up with this. Um, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form void and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the spirit of God was hoovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness he called night. So the evening and morning were the first day. That rhythm of morning and evening, morning and evening, as I'm looking into it over the past few months, it's there throughout scriptures. It carries a creative force. It carries a covenantal force in the, in the nations. And um, in First Chronicles 23, verse 30, uh, God calls forth the Levites to stand every morning to thank and praise Lord and likewise at the evening. So look at guys, we are, there's something that's happening here where we are retrieving an ancient, I don't know, paradigm of worship, morning and evening. Can you imagine going through your entire life morning and evening like the uh, Israelites did morning and evening, even in the wilderness journeys, morning and evening, there was that expression of praise and worship morning and evening. And um, I know that we, many of us have the heart for that, tw that 24 hour uh, uh, ongoing worship, yes. But Second Chronicles 16, I think it is, or First Chronicles 1640 speaks of um, uh, often of the, uh, people interpret it as the 24 hour, but it also says morning and evening continually. So there is that thing that I, I believe it's a covenantal foundational thing that God has, has ordained from the very be beginnings of creation to now that as we come into maybe the fullness of time, which I believe we are, uh, we're coming into retrieving that morning and evening sacrifice time so those are the things that we're beginning to see that level of community the visionary foundations becoming more sure in us what is the watchman all about it really is about watching over god's covenant and his promises there's new strength and resolve in people and the morning and evening rhythm is is releasing a um a paradigm in the prayer and worship movement that I think we have not yet experienced. So um, this is just at the very beginning of these things. Uh, I, I'd like to hear from a few of you, a couple of you just pop in what your sense is and what your experience has been in as we've gone forward with the these um, 100 days. So do you want people to just unmute yeah. themselves Sue, one at a time? Yeah, so we're not calling on anybody. Yeah, I don't want to say what I feel because I don't want to influence anybody. But what are you experiencing? What do you think spiritually is happening to you? Um, how how are you approaching these sessions as we gather together? Is it is it expectancy or is it the same old same old um, that kind of a thing? Just you know, quickly, I think you know. For me, I think the words that have come up, and I think come up with everything that I get in part of you. You want to shift from blessing to actually building and I think that's what's happened here we started this and it was a blessing to all of us but a blessing you know you walk away you feel encouraged but a building of something you feel like you're part of something that's making a difference and I think you know Paul speaks also and I think that's key with anything you know in establishing in a local church that I lead you want to you want to build stuff you need blessing you need blessing you need that kind of environment but you want things to establish that last, that not only this generation, but generations to come also then sustain things and continue with stuff. And I think what's, what's happening here is, is um, that people have been a part of this are actually being stirred in their own sphere of influence to create watches like this. This is this culmination around the nations. And I think that is important 
that there's an expression, you know, Paul in 2 Corinthians 10 speaks about the authority that he's been given in his sphere of influence. And just before that, he's speaking about spiritual warfare. You know, so there's, there's this territory you take, but the authority that you carry to set things in order. And I think that is, that is very important. And I, I've written this line. I'm trying to write a vision with regards to a, a watch that we were establishing in our local church. And this line just speaks to me. It says, this is a journey of vision that keeps growing. As you cycle from one victory to another, it keeps building deeper and deeper, higher and higher. You're always reaching for it, but always attaining it. And I think that's what's happening here. We constantly reach, we find something, but then we attain it, but then we're reaching for more. And I think that's the beauty of the journey that uh, God has got us on here. So as God said to me in the beginning of the year, go where the life is. And uh, there's been life here. The daylight saving shifted things a bit from six in the morning to five in the morning for me, but it's, it's, been, a, it's been a good journey. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, hey, yeah. You know- that was ac- absolutely phenomenal description. Could, if you could write that up at some point, we'd, I'd like to get that out to everybody. Yeah, I'll top that up now, yeah. The, the good news is we're recording this, Sue, so we're not going to miss it. It's great. Thank you, Sheldon. That's beautiful. Somebody else, just go ahead and jump in. I, I'd like My to name hear. is Phoebe. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, Phoebe. Um. I joined the, the group on the 7th of Jan. And uh, there's something which, has, which happened to me last week. One of the reverends, I'm from Uganda, Africa, asked me to give him notes on Watchman. He was going to teach on Watchman and he needed notes. Um, I first Googled, but the things were not really time until I went back to my notes from when I joined in Jan up to the present and uh, I kept reading and noting down the thread of what it means to be a watchman and I realized that um, I, I realized what God has called us to be watchmen it is different from it's it's a higher level of, of seeing things you stop being, uh, uh, you don't stop, but you are more than an intercessor who just stands in the gap, but you are looking at, it's like you are looking at a play and the way things are building, and then you are able to help people. So I wrote very, very good notes, which I can share, because when you speak, it is different from when you write. So I wrote things as they were coming, as we are teaching, and he just sent a comment. This is so such a blessing. So I praise God that there is a thread which is being built in us. So now I understand the difference between a watchman and an intercessor. God bless you. That's awesome, Phoebe. Thank you. Thank you, Phoebe. I, I would like to say for me, I joined this 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 call in a time coming out of a very hard season of my life, a very dry season of my life. And it's been an incredible blessing to be part of a community um, where there's just life, where you just feel like you're, you're, you're in the river all the time when you're on these calls and you're commu- you have community with everyone. And it's deep in my faith. It's deep in my walk. It has deepened my understanding and it's increased my desire for the things of God and to be part of the community of believers and I just, it's just been a, a, just a tremendous blessing and I don't want it to go away. Wow. Awesome, Susan. Thank you. I think one of the things that I've really been challenged with uh, is the burden for the Jewish people and how I was listening to Dean Briggs and Lou Ingalls uh, video today that we as the Gentiles, if we uh, will fast and pray for the uh, coming of the Jewish people to see Messiah, Jesus, Yeshua as their Messiah, it will bring in the revival that we're wanting. But, and, and so this group here and all the things I've learned from hearing people, I can say I've really been challenged about being more uh, Jerusalem centric and that 
everything is the thread, the hyperlinks all go back to the beginning of the garden all the way through. It's what God is desiring for his people. And I'm to be desiring that as well. So it's really been convicting, challenging, but you can see so much more about how God keeps his promises that as dark as it may get, he always has a plan for redemption. Amen. Well said. Thank you so much. Amy. And Amy, that is exactly the thing we're pressing into in the end time study, because um, uh, we're really committed to, raise, to helping foster that atmosphere of God's peace, the assurance of his promises uh, as watchmen as we go into times that are going to be a bit disturbing for a lot of people. We want to be the, the peacemakers and the uh, vision carriers to bring hope and life to people around us. Uh, I also thank God because uh, uh, I've learned an aspect from sh the, the Sabbath, Shabbat celebrations the simplicity, but the deep meaning of, of the death of Jesus, the bread of life, that bread that is presented is actually life and brings meaning. It brought meaning to me when he said, I'm the bread of life. Yes. <laughs> and then, um, these other teachings also, looking at different people in the whole world having issues, issues that actually concern everyone because before I was at this Global Watch, I was looking at issues of my nation and issues of my, my continent, Africa, but now, I can see that God is God. Everyone has a burden and we need to stand together. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Esther. Well Fred, um, I, I think it'd be good for you to um, move forward into what happened this morning uh, on the watch and uh, we can talk about that a little bit too. Okay, I'll, I'll try to be brief. Actually, was this morning for us, but it was maybe evening for you. It was the, during the last call, which was the European watch. And uh, some of you who are, who are on this call were on that. But for the ones who weren't, I just want to tell you what happened to me. Uh, as I was actually leading, Sue actually was not on that call. Um, and what happened was we were, uh, the, the leadership team on the European watch was, they spoke a little bit, but then they had us pray for Europe. and what I sensed was as the hour went on and people were praying, it was the, the presence of God just kept building as we were, as we were praying for Europe. And it, and it became so strong that by the end, um, I was closing off the call and praying a blessing over Europe. And I could hardly uh, control myself. It was, I felt the presence of the Lord so strong on, uh, it was, I think it was on the whole meeting, but it was on me. I got off of the call and felt like, boy, I've got to, I've got to go for a walk because God's really speaking to me. I, I went to go out the door and I couldn't even get out the door. I ended up on the couch for 10 or 15 minutes. Just, I think it was, I think it was a type of travail. I was just weeping before the Lord, but I wasn't sad. It was just the, the, the presence of the Lord felt like it was on me and I just couldn't, um, couldn't do anything except just receive it. And what happened during that time, it wasn't really that long, it was maybe 10 or 15 minutes. But what happened during that time was I had this picture of, um, a, of a table and a chess board on the table. And the, um, I didn't see people at the table, but there, it was clearly clear that there was a chess game going on. And what I saw was the arm of the Lord come and just sweep the table, just sweep everything off the table. And the Lord was uh, 
all I can all I can say is that the Lord was angry, and it wasn't a condemning kind of an anger; it was a righteous anger. And we had been praying in the European Watch. We'd been praying for um, for Europe. We've been praying specifically for Germany. That that took up probably more time than anything else. Praying for Germany, and we were just praying a blessing over Germany, and um, and just prophesying over Germany that the best days of Germany were ahead and not behind. But what happened, the, the sort of travail that I went into was, it was over Germany, but it was also over the nations. And I felt, as I saw this picture of the Lord sweeping the, uh, the chess pieces off the board, I felt the Lord say, Germany is mine. And I am, it's my, I created Germany and I am the one who defines who, Ger who Germans are and what Germany is as a nation. And it, what it did was it reminded me because I think, I, I think the Lord was focusing on Germany because it's, uh, Germany has such a, a mountain to overcome in terms of the, um, you know, the, the past with World War II and, and Hitler and all. And uh, it reminded me, but, but every nation, Every nation has its issues that it has to overcome. Certainly in the United States, we have our issues. We're, we're dealing with the horrible things that happened uh, that we did to the, uh, to the native peoples, to the, to the indigenous peoples, broke covenant after covenant and, and you know, just murdered uh, and, and just tried to wipe out many of, of you know, this is a sort of a buried part of our history, not to mention slavery. But what I felt was that, you know, in the, in the, uh, when we had the boot camp, part of what we said was, it's important as watchmen that we know that we're defined not by our past experiences, right or wrong, or who other people say that we are, but we're defined by who God says we are. Well, you know, this morning or, or at the session, when I, when I had this vision, I felt like, this is not only true for us as individuals, but this is true for our nations. Our nations are who God says they are, not uh, based on the past, not based on our past sins as a nation, not based on our past experiences as a nation. And uh, God was just righteously angry that the blood of Jesus takes care of everything that has not only happened to us as individuals, but has happened to us as our nations. And as watchmen, Part of what it has never been more clear to me, part of what we're called to be as watchmen is we're not just praying for each other as individuals, but we are praying for our nations. We are watchmen over, over God's plans for our nations. So let me just say this, Jeremiah 29, 11, it's one of my favorite verses in scripture. When I'm praying for people, I pray it all the time. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a future. And that's a great verse to pray over people because we can we know that God's plans for us are uh, to prosper us and not to harm us, plans for hope in a future. And so when I'm praying over people, I'm agreeing with them for God's plan over their life. Well, the truth of the matter is that Jeremiah 29, 11 was spoken. It was, it was, it was written by Jeremiah and sent to the um, to the Babylonian cap, the, to the captives in, in Babylon, because Jerusalem had been destroyed at that point, and and uh, uh, the Israelites had been taken captive in uh, in Babylon, and God was actually speaking to a nation. He was speaking to a people. He was not speaking to individuals, and it made me feel that part of our part of our calling as watchmen, part of our heart, is to be watchmen over the nations that we reside in, that we are to pray in and we're to prophesy over and we're to agree on God's plans for our nations and not be held back by the sins that our, nation had, our nations have had you know, in the past. We need to repent. There's a time for repentance. There's a time for, for, um, for you know, godly, godly repentance and for moving in a new direction. But on the other hand, the enemy wants us to get stuck in going over repenting for sins of our nations and not moving forward and not moving forward with his plans. And I believe that on that chessboard, 
that was the enemy, just, um, just moving the chess pieces around so that our nations could never come into the place where God wants them to be. And that is not God's plans. Those are not God's plans. And each one of our nations, we each, each one of us has those issues. It happened to be uh, you know, Germany that we were focusing on more in this last session but it is about every single nation that we're in. Every single nation has the enemy's plans and what man has done, and then it has God's plans. And this is, uh, I believe it's a holy calling for watchmen that we, that we would do that, that we would pray into being and we would prophesy into being God's plans for each one of our nations. So this is where the watch is going, is that we're, we're going to be emphasizing not only for us as individuals, but, but for us as nations, Praying in God's destiny for our nations. Amen. So Sue, Amen. back to you. Can, can I say something also from what you said, Fred, yesterday? That's really helpful. Sure. sure. Um, you also said yesterday, and it has really resounded with me, that it's not about Germany or um, kind of they were kind of separating themselves and continue praying on their own. But also, as we come together, as we come together, we are building each other up. We are helping each other to grow into our calling. And we're also helping each other because we need each other. It's like a network, as uh, um, Sue once said. We need to lock shields um, to, to create this oneness because as every nation comes to, to their redemptive calling the enemy will, will 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 really push the enemy away we can't do it on our own because if, if every person in the nation is taking care of their own nation alone it is good but it's not good enough because humanity is humanity most of the things that one nation is battling is almost the same as another in a different version or format but humanity is the same worldwide Love is the same worldwide. What we've done in the past is almost the same worldwide. We know divisiveness and things like that. So um, it's, um, yes, even as Sheldon said, as faith increases, we are enlarged by you in our own sphere. And the whole world is really our sphere. So as we help each other, we, you know, we lift each other up. Thank you so Amen. much. Amen, Margaret. Thank you so much. That's so well said. So well said. Thank you. Yes, I'm, I'm really overwhelmed. In the beginning, I felt like I had chewing gum bubbling in my mouth and bigger, bigger. But I, because everything you said was, was inside of me and to share, so I don't want to repeat it. I say amen. Yes, and amen to it. Um, but one thing this week, I'm very much into, um, I'm attending a trauma seminar too because I'm a trauma educator. And um, this week it comes to my mind uh, that God is doing the same which I do with traumatized people to the world, in fact. Because he has a calling, like in Psalm 139, it's written that he built us in the beginning before we were. So this is basically my aim to, put, to get people into the calling how God created them in the beginning and putting the pieces together, which is broken in the in the now or from the past, and um, and I felt this is what we are doing here. This is especially yesterday afternoon. It was like we are a network, like covering the earth with a net, coming down and getting the people and the nation in the calling um, God created them for. So it's uh, in putting this piece together and it's happening through this unity we have here in the call and through the love. And I also uh, sensed in the morning during the worship that God is going to pour out the Holy Spirit and his giftings, especially in prophecy and healing um, and wisdom and word of knowledge. Um, this is, uh, it's like a ship um, like a like a warfare ship which has a sharp we had it in German watch once too but it comes to my, in my mind today which is uh, has a big front you know sharp front breaking the ice 
and going into the front and opening the race. Oh, amen. 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 Sorry, Most Fred, it, there's one more thing I wanted to say. Um, what you said and what we've been doing reminds me of Malachi chapter 4, verses 5 and 6. And also, I think Germany considers themselves um, like a prophetic, uh, redemptive calling as father. And it's, it's, uh, it's uh, even the whole, what we're doing. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he will turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to the fathers, lest I come and strike the earth with a curse. And I feel this is also what we are doing here. Amen. 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 Totally agree. Um, can I share something? Yes. Um, yesterday, we, when um, we, at the European Watch, and it was also um, the Memorial Memorial Day, the Independence Day of Israel. And I felt that um, on one side, Israel, proper Israel land was so much celebration, but I felt that God was hearing a cry from the diaspora in, in the nations, and especially for European watch in Europe. And people who, um, the descendants of Jacob who have no hope of going back to Israel, and I don't know what's going to happen. You know what's happening in, you, in Europe. And so I felt that we needed to remember them during the European watch. But uh, uh, Johannes wanted us, we, they wanted us to bless Europe. So I, I thought, no, that's not, that's not, that doesn't fit in with what he wants. But at the end, I suddenly, I, I felt that that's a way, that's a, a way to bless Europe, to, to pray for um, the, 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 the diaspora in, in Europe. Yeah, this is what I wanted to share. That's a good, good point. Thank you. May I share it also? Yeah, ahead, so please. from the beginning, from the beginning, uh, first of all, I'm really blessed by, by the calls. You know, I did not have a background like a Bible college or international prayer meetings, nothing, you know, so so I'm, I'm, I'm really blessed and not just with head knowledge, but with understanding of the calling, you know, for the nations, for the people. And uh, it's, it's beyond my understand sometimes, but I'm saying, Father, yes, I want to be this, this person, you know, that has understanding, you know, discernment. And, uh, and uh, I believe even in the last few months, even the way I pray now, you know, for, for nations, the, for example, yesterday we were praying for, for Europe and Germany. I said, Father, you have a calling for Germany, but you know, it came because of, of these callings, you know, this, uh, the global watch. I never heard that uh, there is a redemptive calling for every nation. You know, we are here in Israel. Sometimes we think, I mean, yes, Israel, but every nation has a calling and the, every person has a calling. So I'm very thankful for you know all the teachings and all the the understanding you know that uh, prepare us to be really in tune with God when we pray when we share and uh, and another thing that I I am so in awe on the watches is God's faithfulness to every nation you know to see how He's moving in Egypt and, and so Hallelujah touched my heart because again it's. It's for the nations it's, and it's for each one of us as individual individuals also. So I'm very happy to, to join you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Roberta. Well said. You can take one, one or two more, more comments and then yeah. we have some things to share too at the end here. This has gone by so fast. Oh, it's crazy. I'll go ahead and share. Um, I'm new to this and I look back and I go, how did I even, how did I even get connected with y'all? I mean, it's just amazing. It's so wonderful. Um, I have been so blessed uh, to hear everyone's hearts, to hear the heart and the understanding, not just a heart for Israel, but an understanding of um, God's heart for Israel and for the Jewish people. 
Um, it's been a huge blessing to me. And I think it was Susan who said a bit earlier in the call that um, there's life here. And that's what I felt like. I've just kind of fallen into something and seen the life and watched uh, Fred and Sue, how you shepherded this. And um, I just feel like you're participating with what the Lord is doing and bringing the rest of us all along. And so it's really wonderful. And Susan said something too about, you just feel like you're in the river. And so that's how I feel. I feel like I've kind of dropped into this river and woohoo, I don't know how I got here, but I am, I'm going with the flow. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Paula. I don't, I don't think Jenny Hager's on here, but... <laughs> She coined the phrase that the global watch is not something to join, it's the river you jump into. <laughs> so, <laughs> join the jump. <laughs> yes. Well, I, I, on, this, on this last call, I was definitely jumping in the river. I was way over my head. And uh, it was, it was, it, it doesn't happen to me very often that I'm, I feel like I'm not totally even in control of my own body, but it, it just, it felt that the presence of the Lord was so strong, it felt that way. And, uh, and, and the Lord was really trying to emphasize that, that it is the nations are his and he defines who they are and what their destiny is, not by, not by man's experiences and not by what the enemy has done in those nations. I'd like to share, um, before I got on, um, I asked the Lord for a scripture. So this, this has been something just in my journey. I, I, fairly new with the Global Watch, but um, something that I've realized through walking through this um, two years has been that everything that God is allowing or that he does, it's always for his glory. So no matter how dark it gets, it's always for his glory. So this was a verse, um, Isaiah 48, I'll just read it. And it's just so, so perfect. Um, it says, listen to this, O house of Jacob, you who are called by the name of Israel and come from the line, the line of Judah, you who take oaths in the name of the Lord and invoke the God of Israel, but not in truth or righteousness, you who call yourself citizens of the holy city and rely on the God of Israel. The Lord Almighty is his name. I foretold the former things long ago. My mouth announced them and I made them known. Then suddenly I acted and they came to pass. For I knew how stubborn you were, the sinews of your necks were iron, your forehead was bronze. Therefore, I told you these things long ago. Before they happened, I announced them to you so that you could not say, my idols did them. My wooden image and my metal God ordained them. You have heard these things, look at them all. Will you not admit them? From now on, I will tell you of new things, of hidden things unknown to you. They are created now and not long ago, you have not heard of them before today. So you cannot say, yes, I knew them. You have neither heard nor understood. From of old, your ear has not been open. Well, do I know how treacherous you are? You were called a rebel from birth. For my own name's sake, I delay my wrath. For the sake of my praise, I hold it back from you. So as not to cut you off, see, I have refined you. Though not as silver, I have tested you in the furnace of affliction for my own sake. For my own sake, I do this. How can I let myself be defamed? I will not yield my glory to another. Amen. 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 Thank you, Angelica. Yes. Okay. Can I share Thank something you. quickly? Uh, yes, go ahead quickly. Well, you, you can be the last one because Sue, we're at the end okay. of the hour. You got to wrap this up. The Lord gave me a dream this morning and I was in the bed and I heard the words, you and your sons are at war. Now throughout the bed, there were little groups of families, I think they were, all at war, but we were at rest. And then God gave me, um, here it is, I've lost my phone, Isaiah 25, 1, my God, we will praise your name. You've accomplished this. You do wonderful things that you planned long ago and you've done it. So it's like he's got the, plan, the master plan. He's got us all in groups. And I love that word from Jerusalem that came out the other day on Signal that said, 
he gives one prayer group one thing, another one, another, another one, another, another one, another, and we have to be faithful to what he gives us, but it all goes together as one, and I love that. And I just believe he's got us all in families all over the world, and I can represent Jenny in Australia today because I might be the only Australian on, but I thank you, Lord, that you have put us in little groups, but it, it makes up a whole, and we are together across the nations. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you so much. That kind Amen. Of... Susan Rao, um, we're, at, we're at the end of the hour, sweetheart. So we're. Oh my gosh, it's, it's we gotta wrap it up. Crazy. We're gonna we're gonna ask for a little bit of grace expansion here, but um, <clears throat> uh, Father God, help us now to articulate the way forward. I believe that there's a commissioning from this this time together that has been building over the past since January uh, in particular. It's been building ever since, but um, it, we, it's a commissioning until, and we don't always know what that looks like, but we do know this, that God is building something that every one of you are a part of, and no one is left out in this. And he is calling forth, I believe, watchmen in every tribe and tongue and nation to rise up in their community and to build this connection because I believe that is part of the bride that is rising up. And the unique call of the watchman that I see unfolding is in each one of you because I see you being relentless. And I praise God for that. I hope we all do because I've just not witnessed that yet in the church or in the prayer movement, this level of commitment. And I, I commend you. And I believe that is a commissioning for the future because God is calling us forth as the relentless watchman of Isaiah 62, six. He's watching over his word and it is not returning to him void tonight. And I pray that you receive the blessing of the Lord as a result, because we will see Jerusalem become a praise in the earth. And we will see the communities, the committed watchmen rising up and building that level of camaraderie of trust, the community of trust, whatever you want to call it, the ramparts where we can stand and watch and weigh the balance of the war and the bride. And in the middle is the word and hold it in peace before our God, even in times of great turmoil. There is a, we're going from strength to strength. And um, I, I just believe this is a journey that is going to be exciting, joyous, and just beautiful in its time. And I pray that the peace of God that passes all understanding will keep our hearts and minds stayed on him. I know many of you have been through turmoil and and all kinds of pushbacks and, and war of your own, but it's all training for such a time as this. And there will be great reward. There will be great reward. And so I'm calling forth the ramparts in the nations to continue to build. And um, everybody tonight is receiving, I hope, a new mind to build like they did in Nehemiah's time. There is a building anointing actually Sheldon, you, you picked that up. Could you pray a blessing over us of that building from moving from blessing to building? We're moving from intercessor to watchman. Um, we're moving from a, a, a company of people into communities. And I just feel like there's a whole shift that we're trying to articulate tonight. Uh, it's, a, it's like a, a ball that's rolling and it's beginning to gain momentum and it's going down the hill and it's going to start consuming everything around it and be a consuming fire for us in our hearts. Uh, Sheldon, are you there? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah I, I can pray. I just think before I pray, it's, it's God is teaching us to learn to trust him without trying to work it out. Yeah. We're so good at setting it out and we know exactly where we're gonna go, but it's literally, it's like what you said, just jump in the river and trust where this goes. And that's exactly what's happening. And what's happening here is without trying to, we are building. It is establishing something which is making an effect. And yeah, let's just pray. Like, Father, we want to thank you that I firstly thank you for Fred and Sue, who are 
who are called forerunners. Lord, dreamt about them in October last year. How about being forerunners? I thank you for the pioneering spirit you've placed upon them to help establish something here that is not just blessing us, but that is building and establishing something across the nations of this world. We thank you that through the church, your ecclesia, the manifold wisdom of God is being made known to the rulers and the authorities in the heavenly places. And we know that through this call, Lord, we are setting an order through the heavenlies. We are setting an order through our prayers. We thank you, Lord, that as we build and as we keep following your lead, as we start, as we keep walking forward with humble hearts, with no intention to build our own thing here, which has been such a big model across the nations. This is your thing, Lord, that you are building in this hour as we are relentlessly pursuing what's on your heart in this hour. And we pray your continual favor and blessing upon this call, upon the global watch, and all that it establishes beyond its borders to see the, the, the prayers of the, the relentless watchmen standing, positioning themselves in this time and this hour. And Lord, this is all for your glory, for your name to be exalted as we prepare for all that you're doing in the nations of this time. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I just, um, I just want to announce, too, that we are taking a step forward into this future tomorrow, or today, depends upon where you're at. The next watch, um, the Shabbat is at 5 p.m. Jerusalem time, but we are adding on the tomorrow from 4 to 5 a worship watch, and many of you will be involved with that as we go forward into this. I'm totally excited about it because I feel like it's a balance that we need in terms of just focusing on worshiping the Lord, period. That's it. Hey, guys, this was um, just thank you so much for just kind of taking a deep breath tonight and um, hopefully a deep dive <laughs> into where we're going from here and a swim going forward. Um, I'd, uh, let's close it off with a prayer, but also um, Shireen. Hmm. where are you yes i'm right here oh, okay there you are um are you get, getting ready for the show oh yeah for those We're of ready. you who want to spare five minutes you got to stay on for a good laugh here we've got to have a laugh as a community right okay that's <laughs> part of it so uh, shireen's going to show us some tricks <laughs> with the zoom <laughs> but mind you you might want to spend the next five minutes better than what yep. we have going here on zoom so I, i'm giving obligated. them the exit route so <laughs> but, um maybe you should pray us out of here shireen <laughs> once you pray us lord we we give you all the glory we give you all the glory father receive it now in jesus name receive all that you deserve as a representative of your nations, of your people, and every tongue that we know how to speak, and even the tongues of heaven, we say, blessed be your name now. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. Amen. Amen. So Amen. Um, we're going to unmute, and we're going to go out with joy and be led forth in peace. Shireen is going to, um, for those who want to hang on, Shireen, you're on. Okay. What so do you so, want us to unmute now and just and just say goodbye to each other? Yeah, and then if you want to hang on, you can. But okay, all right. Make a brief. Everyone, right. God bless everyone. God bless, God bless you guys. Bless you. Thank you, bless you. Bless Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you. Bless you. Okay, Shireen, you're on. You can show us your face. I'm on my laptop, so it may not look the same if you're on your phone or your iPad, but um, on the far left bottom part of your screen, it has the stop video little mm -hmm. icon. Just mm -hmm. to the right of that is an up arrow. So when you click on that up arrow, you have a little bit of a menu selection mm -hmm. and you're going to choose choose video filter so when you click on that it comes up with a new little oh. box and you see yourself in it and then 
if you look just below your video now in that little box you see virtual backgrounds but you also see a selection that says video filters mm -hmm. are you there and yeah. then have yeah. fun have fun i'm gonna choose the lollipops what is it so cool from the other here yeah. I'm going to do this with my students in the morning because we have clinical. <laughs> All right. And, and Fred would like to demonstrate because he's found the coolest ones ever. Oh my gosh. I don't have any. I don't have any. No. Okay. Mine says none. Yours says none. I don't have any no filters. Under video filters, it says none. Says no. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I said okay. None. And then, and I don't then if you look on the bottom, if you this look on the bottom, hilarious. it yeah. says studio effects beta. Yeah. Click on that. Click. Yes. You clicked on that. It says download. Yes. You need yeah. to download them. Okay, I'm downloading. Okay. I didn't find either, hey, but look, I have my glass. <laughs> <laughs> Joni, you got it. You got to get a little bit more. Yeah, you need to get some smiley faces going, or or mm. the lion face, or something. Come on. Mine doesn't. There Shereen, we go. Shereen, Shereen, mine Shereen, doesn't yeah. say download. What? I want to be able to do. Mine doesn't say download. And you know what? I've always wanted to do. You know how they put what? the love heart in the chat and they put the smiley face in the chat? <laughs> Why do they do yeah, that? Yeah. Oh, okay. We, uh, so is that that's different. <laughs> yeah, those are in the reactions, Marco. That's a little different. No, they're not. Because when I press reactions, it's only got a few choices. What do you have as your choices? No, because if I press reactions, the love heart comes on my box. But I want to put oh, the love you heart want it in, in the chat. chat. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I, I don't know how to. I don't know how to do that, actually, Margo. I'm in shocked, Shereen, that you I don't, don't know. know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do everything. I just discovered this. <laughs> but Shereen, can you can you explain again the beginning? How yes. you start in the beginning? Okay, so I'm on right now my laptop. That's the only way I know how to explain it. But in the bottom left of the Zoom screen, you'll see the mute. You have your microphone and your video camera. Right to the right is a little arrow uh, next to your video camera. Yes. And when you click on that, you choose video filter. Okay. My, the only thing Once you obviously. choose video filter, if you need to, you may have to download, but yeah. uh, there's two choices, virtual backgrounds and video filters. And if you choose video filters, then you can choose a whole bunch of fun little things <laughs> where did you well, get that you can Diana? also thank you what, shireen where, oh, where did you it. get that what diane where did you get that yep it's watch this sue we can we can down. we can throw it between each other throw it to me yeah. now. I can throw it back. <laughs> you can how did you do that <laughs> you have to get in the center of the screen how did you do it <laughs> Known how to do a background before. I've always wondered, but I've found it now. But how do you do the sewing bit? Okay, the other one is there's a virtual background and then a video filter on the right. Do you see that next to it? Yeah. You can do it only click on that. And then there's something else that you, we've discovered as well. That's a good, that's and good. Vic, you might want to try this. You can okay. put some lip color. Look. You can? <coughs> yeah. Oh, studio, studio effects. Yeah, studio effects. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, awesome. So, 
Yes. So I'm going to put some Stupid. eyebrows. Well, yeah. I have to tell you, mine is not working. No. Mine is not. Okay, let me come you, over. Where are you in mine's Australia? Mine's not working either. So Why I, either? Yeah. Look at those <laughs> eyebrows. Woo! Oh, mine. <laughs> How do you put? Put the, put the colored one on the rainbow one because it looks silly. No, it's not. <laughs> it's probably because I'm in the way. Yeah, go oh, there. Maybe you need to take that. Oh my word, this is hilarious. Oh yeah, I think we got. I think we got lip color now. <laughs> okay, try that now. <laughs> it's like so. I'll throw the lip color. I, I thought that throw, throwing between the two was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How did you How did you throw them between oh. the two? It it that you is... have two people in the same screen. It'll oh. whoever's in the center will get it. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, I've got to go. I've got class in the morning, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll try to come okay, in. Let us while. know how you hey, liked it. <laughs> oh, no, I, I thank you, come Shireen. That was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Shireen. Our Zoom calls will never be the you same. You are so welcome. <laughs> you are so welcome. That <laughs> oh, was great. great. That was <laughs> great. Bye. All right. Just remember, remember, we're an hour earlier than usual for the Shabbat. If you want to be participating uh, for Zion, so thank you, you all for everything. You guys better go. Better change to nest, guys. <laughs> Sleep well. I can't take you seriously when you got those glasses on, Sue. I can't take anything you say seriously. <laughs> Just as well. <laughs> Is this Serene's normal character? Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Thank you, Shireen. Love you, Shireen. Bye. 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 Bye.